first up, uh, we have Tangaroa Ararau, Te Tiriti, Tikanga and Marine Governance, brought to us uh, by a wonderful uh, couple uh, who I know, uh, who are doing amazing mahi um, uh, within the iwi and within the wider um, um, Māori community as well, uh, Beth Tupara Kātini and Te Pōho Kātini. Uh, Beth has extensive uh, experience in natural resource management and tiriti policy, development across the public sector as well, uh, with iwi uh, around the motu. Uh, her background includes fisheries, aquaculture, climate change, freshwater reforms, treaty settlements and local government engagement. Uh, te Pōho uh, spent a decade in marine science and policy, fisheries management and aquaculture and economic development um, before pivoting to social impact and investment to drive economic emancipation of Ngai Māori. Nō reira, uh, e tātou mā, uh, e te tuinga uh, o te ui, uh, o te paki paki ki te tokorua nei. Mihi nui ki a koutou, kua tau mai nei i tenei wā. Uh, ko Beth Tupara Kātini a hau, uh, ko te aitanga hauati, te aitanga māhaki, ngai tā manuhiri, uku iwi, uh, no te tai rāwhiti a hau. Um, I'm the research lead for, for this project, um, but before we sort of get into the details and stuff, I'm going to just quickly hand over to Te Pōho. A ka hoki nei au ki te karakia o rangi tūraua te tohunga o tākiti muaka. Mano ki Hawaii ki katu hake hake a mai te ko wiwini mai te ko wawana he toki mina mina he toki mai ana rea ka hira hira. Ko ai tu o tāngata ki te pū o te rā kau ka ui ho ka ui ake ka ui tua ko te ka, ka hao tangaroa tangaroa te toi Tangaroa te meha, tangaroa whakamautai. Ko ao mataka kā ki tu ao Hawaiki, ka te ate rawaka mai. Ko tāne harururutu, whano, whana, haramai te toki, haumie, huie, taiki. A ka huri te kaya toku waka mihi ki a rātou mā te tiramate. Puta noi te motu, a whakangaroa ti a koutawa ka takitahi ngā whetu o te kā hui o matariki. Wai hoa ke rā ko rātou, ko nā nai ore atu ki ngā tau whare whare ngā ngā ko o rātou mā, hoki atu ki a rātou. Apiti hono tātai hono, tātai te aka ako te whenua, ngā kano hi ora hurinoa ki a tātou, maunga rongo ki te whenua, he whakaaro pai ki ngā tāngata katoa. A nei, te reo tai o mihi o ngā titoa rangatire e wai poke nei kai rongi a koutou, koutou au kua rā me mene mai kai raroi tēnei kā rangatanga o te wā. Ara ko tēnei kaupapa nui whakaharahara mō tātou, te hāpai ake i tō tātou nei hononga ki tangaroa, hononga ki hene moana. Nō reira, e ngā pūkenga, e ngā pūmanoa, tēnei te mihi, tō māua o tira ko tō mātou, ko tō mātou tīma ki a koutou katoa. Like all of, all of us here gathered today for this occasion, our relationship with tangaroa uh, is a critical part of who we are. As Māori, that relationship is enhanced by our shared whakapapa with the ocean and its inhabitants. Ko tangaroa te tīti, ko tangaroa te tātā. Tangaroa is all-encompassing. That whakapapa not only enhances our regard for the moana, it compels us to act in a way that is familial, values-driven, principles-driven, that not only allows for our own sustenance, but also for the thriving of our marine ecosystems. And so we return to one of the key outcomes for sustainable seas, to give effect to te tiriti o waitangi, where the rights and perspectives of Māori are central to the marine governance and management regime for Aotearoa. We feel deeply that our unique opportunity lies in embedding our whakapapa-born, tikanga-driven values in the heart of how Aotearoa interacts with the ocean. Not viewing the ocean as a series of services that the ecosystem provides to enhance human well-being, but where mana atua and mana moana are interwoven with mana tangata, not subservient to it. 
A quick introduction to our team. We have, um, we have in attendance today, as well as ourselves, we also have um, Horiana Irwin East Hope, Kate Tarafiti, Te Aumihia Walker, uh, Annalise Samuels, Te Hau White. Uh, we have a, our team has a breadth of experience um, and have been at the coalface of both management, policy and legislation in the marine and treaty settlement space. All of our team have actively worked with their whānau, hapū, iwi, across pan-iwi entities and within the courts to this effect. And this has been enhanced by engaging with subject matter experts in their respective fields of mahi, including um, tikanga and mātauranga Māori exponents. Now there's also a whakatauki, tirohia te taumata o te moana, cast your eyes to the ocean's horizon. And to this effect, we welcome into our midst Chris Jackson from We Create Futures uh, into our team, who has provided his unique design and futures thinking skills to our kaupapa. So across this broad range of mahi, our team has encountered, as no doubt we all have, consistent themes and barriers and frictions uh, that stand in the way of this ideal of rangatiratanga in the ocean sphere. We all know that anthropocentric values and property rights are given pride in place in the existing decision-making paradigm. We know that short-termism and short-term thinking continues to dominate, uh, be it linked with financial returns, uh, commodity cycles, reporting compliance, or electoral terms. And being in the front line, we know that the priorities and the intent of te tiriti or waitangi remains unfulfilled. So in our temerity, if we are to summarize it in short, within the existing marine governance system, tangaroa is absent, te tiriti is ancillary, and tikanga is adulterated. <clears throat> in Aotearoa, our history as navigators, voyagers, explorers, and mar mariners dates back over a thousand years to the times of kupe, kura mai marotini, hui te rangiora, and the great captains of the waka migration. Over generations, keystone concepts emerged to continuously reinforce our synergetic uh, relationship with tangaroa and everything that influences the wider marine ecosystems. Complex ocean economies developed in step with ecosystem health indicators. This body of knowledge, commonly referred to as tikanga Māori, informed traditional management systems that put tangaroa, the embodiment of the ocean's health and vitality, at the heart of decision making. Tangaroa Ararau, or Tangaroa of the Many Paths, acknowledges these many braided threads, views and journeys that have led to this moment in time. Our project proposes to explore what modern governance model options based on tikanga Māori and te tiriti could be, could, sorry, could be developed and applied in the marine environment. While the governance models will be grounded in tikanga and te tiriti, it is not proposed to be the point of exclusion but another step towards bringing our diverse worldviews alongside one another for the betterment of our oceans and the people of Aotearoa. Um, there are four research aims um, under our project. Uh, set tikanga-driven guardrails for the research team, uh, exploration of our focus areas and drivers, designing future governance models and transitional pathways to these new models. Our research aim one, setting tikanga-driven guardrails, um, ensures that as a team, we are paddling our waka in the same direction, keeping our eye on that distant horizon, but safe within the bounds of our tikanga. We undertook, as you do, good old literature review, um, but one of the cool things here is that we interviewed our pukinga and tohunga in Mātauranga Māori, tāmoko wakahaurua traditional whale harvest, te reo rangatira, Mahinga kai, te tiriti, and hapu rights. And from this, we've created our Ngapai Moana guiding framework. Um, re renowned land activist Eva Ricard once said, somewhere in my past is my destiny. Our ancestral past is steeped in a relationship with the ocean that is vast and varied as to Moana Nui Akiwa. 
From our earliest histories as navigators and wayfinders, the ocean has held primacy in the minds and hearts of Māori and our Pacific whanaunga. We observed our natural world and tied its explanations to the many elements and aspects of the ocean. We personified it to embed our whakapapa obligations of kinship and deified it to embed our responsibilities to act in a manner that is tika. By, exam by examining our ancestral relationship with the moana, we may be able to understand the underlying values and principles that governed that relationship and cast our minds forward to consider how future vision for our ocean's relationship may be driven by consistent values and principles. Ko te pai tā fiti whakatata mai, ko te pai tata kia u kia mau. Seek distance horizons to bring them within your reach and hold tightly to those you attain. Our guiding framework, Ngā Pai Moana, catches, captures the aspects of our relationship with tangaroa that are resolute through time. Um, research aim two. We explored, <coughs> well, we are currently at this phase of our project, exploring um, some key focus areas and drivers. And this will assist us to identify it's assisting us to identify our marine governance issues, drivers, and potential solutions to help understand the changes necessary in marine governance to give effect to te tiriti and tikanga. These focus areas include customary marine uh, statutory provisions, um, Māori commercial rights and interests, and the Marine and Coastal Area Takutai Moana Act. Initial drafts of the focus areas have been developed. A futures triangle approach was utilised in the development of the reports that explores the weight of the past and the push of the present for each of these focus areas. The futures triangle is a model uh, for considering what plausible futures may come. It accounts for the inertia of the status quo, the existing forces of change, and the dynamic tides of the future. If your kaupapa was adrift on a current, what would it lead to? The Futures Triangle tells us to envision the current pulling at it, the hoi propelling it, and what anchors that tether it. As part of this phase, we have been gathering intelligence on the emerging trends and developments, both domestically and internationally. We will continue to explore how these signals coalesce and the impact that they might have. We have and will be conducting this through wānanga. Phase, phase three, designing future governance models. Um, this phase will begin to interpret the behaviour of the driving forces into predetermined architect, archetypes of the future. Continued growth, collapse, discipline, and transformation. The development of these archetypes scenarios allows you to explore multiple possibilities, challenge our assumptions about the future, increase our preparedness for different eventualities, and increase the resilience of our thinking. This way of thinking will allow us to explore alternative ways the policy area might develop and the choices various stakeholders might make under different conditions. This analysis will assist with developing plausible futures leading into the development of a set of criteria for marine governance models. And then, oh, yeah, a couple point. Um, our last phase of mahi um, is really around, I suppose, those tangible and practical pieces piece of the project, we will, where we will consider the changes required to policy and legislation to achieve these plausible futures. It will explore the measures to assist com communities to move from the status quo to the new models, identify the legislative and policy changes required to make the necessary shifts, and identify implementation pathways and the required support and resources to achieve the proposed transitional measures identified. Akatira, um, the most important part is that whatever we do, it remains grounded in our tikanga. And we acknowledge that our team are not the exponents of this ancestral matauranga. Our role is to create a space where that mātauranga is brought to bear to, to solve the ocean's greatest needs. Mātauranga exists within the interweavings of people in place. To be mātauranga driven is to be guided by our hapori and their 
intimate symbiosis that they have with their ocean spaces. And when we create this space rich with kōrero, the manner in which we share that kōrero must also be driven by whakaaro Māori. Because reciprocity, tawutsuutu, particularly in our research space, is a bottom line deal. Whether in our relationship with te taiao or with our people, it is not enough for us to take, to extract, we must give. So we've spoken about the future's triangle, the legacy of the past, the push of the present, the pull of the future. These three points help us to manifest the, the future that we choose for ourselves. I'll leave you with the small excerpt, excerpt from one of our karakia. Hold true to the pathways that have been traversed. Hold true to the pathways to, to come. In doing so, we follow the immense paths of Tangaroa and leave behind us our own trails for others to follow too. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. <laughs>